hello guys how are you doing today in today's video i am going to show you how you can create forms inside goha label software so first of all login into the goha label software and go to the marketing section and click on the form builder and th this is the place where you can see all the forms which you have created recently so let's create a new form click on the create new form button and as you can see a new form is opened in this form you can add several elements such as name phone number email address city state country and so on so let's create a simple form so first element will be first name and second element will be last name and the third element we will add is phone number and fourth element we are going to add is email id and you can add organizations address so let's add address okay so you don't need to add more things regarding address people will give their address here and if you want to add website address then you can also give that so let's add a website and last we are going to add and capture so when people will fill your form they have to enter in the captcha which is offered by google so and the last thing is submit button so drag and drop here so you can make these columns mandatory for example if you want to make the first name mandatory then you can do that just double click on it and make it required so people have to fill their first name then only this form will be submitted otherwise this form will be not submitted so as you can see there is asterisk sign beside first name and there is asterisk sign beside phone as well as in email so those fields are compulsory so now let's customize this button you can type anything like uh, click me you can make it at center and you can change the background image background color let's make it green yes green look nice you can even make it full width so i think full width looks better you can change the corner radius so like it let's make it little round shape so now it's look good so there is a styling options here like inline form which will change the format of your form so as you can see the format has been changed here you can see first name last name it uh, is in the same row you can do like this or you can make it default it is up to you so like let's do inline forms and you can also further change the style of the form you can change the background color
and all the forms can be customized according to your wish you can also add custom css and last is there is option you can rename this form like test form you can rename it anything and when submit what will happen when people will submit click the submit button they that will open a new url or it will send a message so for this example we are going to open a new url here you can give google.com for example and you can even use facebook pixel id if you give the pixel id then you will be able to track this form so everything looks good so you can even add sticky contacts as you can say sticky contacts will autofill contact information previously entered so you don't have to enter it twice so let it enable this option and let's save this form now you have to integrate this form you can use this form in your wordpress website or as well as in the go high level website you just need to copy this iframe code and paste inside your website page or you can directly send your customers to this link and they will be able to fill this form so let's open this link and see how our page looks so this is the form so as you can see everything is loaded correctly so let's fill something out you can give any url an address you can give your address and after that you can click submit but since we are not filled the captcha it will not able to submit this form so as you can see it is says invalid captcha so captcha is also working so in order to submit this form we need to fill this captcha it says i am a not robot since this is an intelligent captcha form it automatically detect that you are not a robot and now you can click on this button and this form will be submitted so just click on it as you can see the form has been submitted so but we have not given the correct address that's that's why it is given as the 404 error but if you insert the correct website address then it will be redirected to your website so this is how you can create forms inside go high level so i hope you like this video and if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and also subscribe to this channel and if you want 14 days free trial of go high level then you can check the link in the description and you can get signed up from there so thank you for watching this video and have a great day